Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today, well, not long ago I had my birthday. Well, it might actually be a while because the videos are pretty far ahead by now. And um, I got a chainsaw as a birthday gift. My Patreon subscribers has already seen this because I posted that video today. Which is the 12th of November, so you can see how far the videos are behind by checking that. Um, but I got a chainsaw from my mom and a knife set from my brother. And here are the knives, so it's uh, ordinary kitchen knives, nothing spooky about that. Some really violent gifts this year, so um, I thought we should kind of do an unboxing of this because I do like my Ryobi tools. This one is not running on batteries though, so uh, that's new. So here we have the box and down here are the model number. It's the RCS3835T and it's, it's not one of their big saws. This is probably the smallest um, petrol fueled chainsaw you can get from Ryobi. But I do not work in the forest or anything, I just needed to chop up a bit of wood at home. So um, what do they brag about? Well they brag about the engine, the tightening of the, of the chain, um, no tools to tighten the chain. Oh, oh sorry that's it's not vibrating, anti-vibration. Okay, no tools needed to fasten the chain. No tools needed to, 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 to do something else. Oh, spark plugs and air filter. Okay, up to 35 centimeter um, wood, 5.1 kilograms. And the chain moves with 23.8 meters a second. It has 1.75 horsepower, which is equivalent to 1.3 kilowatts. So actually you could probably get an electric chainsaw that is uh, more powerful than this one. Well, that's how it goes. On this side we have a nice picture and about the same, more or less the same info. Two years of warranty. Awesome. And we have some more pictures, the same thing in multiple languages. Always nice. Let's get into the box, shall we? Oh, let's just have the last page as well. There it is. I probably need to know what kind of petrol that goes in here and so on and so forth. But yeah, let's open and see if we can figure this out. I have found a pair of scissors, so I'm gonna try and do this nicely if I decide that um, I wanna do something else. So, boom, 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 boom. open sesame. I am not a chainsaw expert by any means. I have a current chainsaw and well it looks to be the same size as the one I have mm, except mine does not have this thing here so that's the the tightening mechanism for pushing forth and back the blade and it looks like that is something that you can just remove so you can we call this a sword I don't know if, if that's the same in other countries, but um, that's the sword of the chainsaw. Um, and apparently this is the fastening mechanism that they have put on here so that you don't need to use tools. That's uh, not a stupid idea actually. So, awesome. What else do we have? We have <gasps> cupboard. We have a manual, we have oil, we have a chain. Nice. We need a manual to get it out of here. Hmm. I think they have decided, oh, maybe everything has to come up at once. So if we chip it over. just brings the box up. There we are. And we will 
will just make sure that it's not full of oil. So I don't want to have my chair dirty. I don't want to have my table too dirty. So. Cupboard. More cupboard. Nothing in there. And a guard for it. Okay. Okay, it comes with this thing on the handle, which tells you how when this is pushed back, well it's um it's there's a red hand which is usually bad. When you push it forward, well it's usually good. So that's the locking mechanism. If something hits here, it will lock the chain. If something heavy hits here, it will well kind of use this mechanism to close this ring down. There. Oh, it's actually the other way. So when I when I push it that way, it opens up this ring. I figured out that it's just crammed in there really good. I just had to loosen this screw far enough and this came off. So let's uh, put the blade and the chain on. Here we have a chain and I'm guessing that it fits on the chainsaw. Otherwise, that would be really stupid. And we have the blade here. Uh, that must go on this way. Like, like so. Awesome. And then the blade goes on. It, it rotates this way. So we have to make sure that they uh, cut the right way. And that is this way. So let me put that on down there. Make sure that the blade is... And I can... Oh, this is tightening and this is loosening. So... That's not a bad design. Uh, if, it, if it lasts. If it breaks the first time, well, it was shit. I really love presents that has to be put together. If you just get something and it just works, well, what is the fun in that? So, this is the coupling. When the motor spins really fast, it will it will push out on this ring and the chain will go around, which means that um, if the engine slows down, well, it will no longer push the, the chain around, so that's nice. So you can force it. That's not a good idea. Okay, already messed it up. Okay, let's put it together. Put this one on. And this one just needs to be pushed down into this hole really tight. And that it's some rubbery materi material. So it um, goes in there. But this is really awesome because it's nice not to have to bring a tool. Even though they do have a tool. I wonder what that is for then. There. So you loosen this and you tighten the chain or loosen the chain. How do you do that? Loosen and fasten. Awesome. Not sure how tight this should be. So I think that's that might be okay. There. One piece of chainsaw. Let's see what else we have. We have some Ryobi chain ball liquid. I'm guessing you're not supposed to drink it. You're not supposed to burn it. You're not supposed to leave it out in the sun. I think this is the blade oil. Then we have 
this little thing and that is to be mixed with four liter of petrol mixed with that's tiny but that's the the oil that you put in the gas for a synth th synthetic two-stroke engine lubricant and there is 76 milliliters and there are 76 milliliters here mm, cool so let's plastic we have a manual and it's probably just full of security bullshit um, which is of course very nice of them it has multiple languages everything from English to BG which is of course I have no idea it looks Greek Mm, probably it's not Greek. Never mind, probably Greek then. We have pictures, we like pictures. But I think this motor saw or chainsaw is so similar to the one I have that I would be able to figure this out. Okay, awesome. So on this side, so the petrol for the engine goes in here. Doesn't it smells like new plastic? I don't think they have had a drop in there ever. So there's a chamber for that, and it's a 50 to one. So, and this is probably why this is good for four liters of petrol. Oh, it's from 2015. This has been sitting around for a while. That one is a new one. That's not usually there. Hmm? And it also says here on this piece of thingy um, how to um, remember to put in the fuel and stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. Otherwise, we'll. There is something here. There's a low and there's a high. And uh, might be something for trimming the engine. We see we can kind of see that behind here there's a low and high so it's probably when the the motor is when it's not turning around you can trim it and say how fast it should go in idle cool on off switch right there and here is the cover for the for the spark plug and the air filter that's the air filter. That's a cool little design. So, mm, nice. This is um, this chainsaw is definitely for home use. It's not the chainsaw for the forest worker, that um, lumberjack that goes out in the forest and and takes down fifty trees in an afternoon. Um, this is for removing smaller things and cutting up smaller things so yeah, I think we will try and put some fuel and stuff in this and go out and test it um, there is also this tool I'm a bit confused where you're supposed to use that then okay so this is my old chainsaw which I also uh, got from my mom but it's actually leaking somewhere and that's the chainsaw oil for uh, lubricating the the salt there that is leaking out so that was why i i requested a new saw and let's see they're very similar i do believe this the saw is yeah, that's about the same i think it's i think that is the same so not much of a difference there okay but these chainsaws are so similar I don't think they were far apart on the assembly line you can just see that the handle is the same way well the trigger is a bit different here the the shoker is also the same way the the start thing and the knots for putting in fuel and stuff 
Yeah, I've lost this one, um, the, the top thing here, so I just put in a screw so that this doesn't fall off, but it's wobbly as hell. So I must admit, this saw has done okay. It's, I've had it five, six years-ish, and it has been working great. Um, except for for it now leaking and I can't really put it anywhere because every time there's a little pool of oil and uh, well so I am um, I wished me a new one for my birthday so I'm happy I got that one so cool so we're gonna put some fuel and stuff in this one and I'm just gonna be using uh, the same thing that I used on the old one um, I have already mixed up the fuel and I have some oil there so that's all good fuel is in Let's hope it doesn't go out yeah, looks good this little trick for my oil can here um, I have the problem of the oil gooping, glooping, like coming in big pushes if it's just one open hole. So I kind of have it so that it, it the oil comes out here and it sucks in air there. So that usually works pretty well. Except if you pull too fast. There, almost to the top. Um, unfortunately, I can see that the camera don't want to go out and um, and chop up wood. Um, it's um, on two minutes at the battery, so I think you guys will go in and charge for a little bit, and I'll bring you out when I know um, how this runs. Okay, it was a little bit tough to get this going, but it came. Um, you're meant to press this fuel thing. It's a rubber thing here. You press that about 10 times. I think I pressed it 20 or so. And then you uh, pull out the shoker like that. And then you pull it until it um, tries to start. And then you put back in the shoker and then you can uh, go. Let's see if now it's hot. So I'm guessing that it will turn on really fast. And it does. It's not that noisy. not bad. Good piece of firewood right there. Okay, that was what it did on a tank of petrol. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, let's see what we got. This mountain of wood. Hmm, some of it is really rotten and stuff, but well, I have a really nice solution with my neighbor over here who produces a lot of wood, so um, there is still wood to go there. I did also go down here and chop this up a little bit because I want to get rid of this. This has been sitting from up here and all the way over there, but it fell down in a storm years back and well, I never got it up there again, and now it has been sitting here rotting for too long, so I don't want to put it up there again. So, whew. <clears throat> But this pile of wood here, I am expecting that will last me a good month. Depending on how cold it is, of course. So... <sighs> The saw did a lot more than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting about half of this, but it just kept going and going. 
Um, of course it also has a brand new blade on it that always helps just a little bit you know <sighs> let's go in kind of funny because i this long one big one was well it was over here and, and i've been avoiding it because i knew that um, i must have to i must have sawed so much wood that the saw was just about to die but then after another 10 minutes of working with it i thought well we can just try the big one then and as soon as i had it here the saw died so um, yeah that's just how that goes to be also in need of a new lawnmower this one is um, done and i was i think i can i can push it to next year because now winter is coming and i really don't need a lawnmower in winter uh, and in the autumn the good deals on lawnmowers are usually there. Just, you know, when you have an, a new tool, you usually maintain it better than when you have an old tool. So I'll just get the worst sawdust off that. It, it still looks great. So that's cool. And this system for and the system here for tightening the chain that also worked really well so very nice you don't have to go um, dig up a tool the other saw that i have in there you had to untighten two bolts and then tighten the chain and then you can fasten those two bolts again this is easier you just loosen this and you can do that and tighten that again and it's usually okay Pretty cool. Having those hearing protection on really gives you the worst kind of hat hair ever. Oh, ah, guess it'll have to do. Okay, so that was my unboxing of the Ryobi chainsaw here. Uh, I forget, it's the Power XT mm, and it's 112 dBs, so noisy. Um, and the model number is the RCS3835T and um, it's, this one is from 2015 they have given me a two years old saw and it still runs well so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again chopping up things in small pieces have a nice day bye bye